Welcome to Bislish. I'm Chef Cameron Kurtz, and today I'm doing Mullingai and Sardine Torta, or Moringa and Sardine Frittata, for all you Americans out there. Now, this is tons of vitamin C, tons of omega-3s, and we're going to start off by cutting up some carrot. Well, peel some carrot, get that dirt off there. And uh, the way I'm going to cut it is in a little tiny matchstick, so I want three usable chunks, and I'm going to cut it into planks like so. Planks, still, still cutting, still, mmm, planks. And then uh, if you take a look over there to the left, that's that's how they're going to look in the end. But uh, you take your planks and, well, you're going to slice them up like this, so it's pretty damn easy. You don't need a, yeah, you don't need to buy a food processor. I got you. Go ahead and buy a knife. For garlic, I like to smash it first. Then we're going to go ahead and chop it up in little tiny chunks. See? Easy. Get that chunk. Bring it back. When it comes to onions, I'm using a red onion because, well, it looks better when we're doing the filming. But uh, feel free to use any onion you want. I need little pieces, so I'm going to smash it down and slice it up into little tiny strips like this. Then you're going to take the whole thing and turn it. And then it's easy. Then you just cut the little tiny pieces. Small cut means small pieces. Big cut means big pieces. Now for moringa leaf, you um, take the leaf off the branch. Um, yep, that's that that that's about it. Pretty easy. One egg, two egg. Yeah, four eggs. Okay, uh, that's a teaspoon of black pepper there. And I am using soy sauce. It's usually they use patis, which is uh, fish sauce. Feel free to use fish sauce if you would like to. I can't in my household, but it all gets there. You see, I like to season the eggs. That way the seasoning is in the entire torta. Now for the fish, I'm going to go ahead and drain off the olive oil. That's what I got this little handy setup here for. I'm going to use olive oil later. And here we go. Here's your mise en place or stuff ready to cook. So on a medium heat, I pour my oil in. I start my garlic going, making sure that things start looking a little bit uh, pretty in the pan there. After I got that going, I'm adding all my carrot. Because carrots are going to take forever and I don't want to burn up my garlic. So stir it either like that or um, use an implement like, like, like this one. See, the red handle means it's not going to burn. And uh, I'm not trying to like kill everything. I just want to add the carrot some color. Look, I'm going to add my onions now. And I just want to bring out the sweat from the onions. Nothing like sweating onions to make it smell awesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah, look at that. Sweaty onions all around. Moringa leaf I'm going to add right at the end, right before I'm going to add my eggs, because I don't want to cook the hell out of it. I want the vitamin C to stay in there, so I just want them to start wilting a little bit, so that when I add the eggs, don't have any issues. See? Look. Oh, yeah, don't forget, um, sardines are in this, because omega-3s. And then here we go with the egg mixture. I just like to kind of give it a little bit of spin on the top. Because otherwise it's going to clump up and start cooking too much in some weird spots. This is also a great time to check your flame. Now, anyone who's ever done like the omelet technique, you see how I'm bringing in the edges that are cooked. And I'm bringing the cooked edges on into the middle. And then I am keep moving around the stuff on the bottom to make sure that uh, we have even cooking throughout. I don't want any place to get uncooked or... Or overcooked on the corner, otherwise it's going to be dry and nasty. And see, now we're ready. All the edges are nice and ready to go. So I'm going to put this sucker underneath a broiler and finish it up. I put my broiler on low. If you got high, um, check it more often. Don't let that sucker burn. But here, look. Nice and brown on top. That's ready to be turned out. 
what I do is I flip it upside down on top of this cutting board here. My technique I use here is I'm just kind of like looking to make sure it's all done. And then I'm going around to the center. Nice little circle. There you go. Look at all that steam. Have you ever tried to cut things up with one hand? Yeah, don't do this at home. But I thought I should put this in my video because uh, that way you guys have something to laugh about. Okay, so we have our superfoods here. We have sardines with high omega-3s. We have moringa leaf, which World Health Organization says is the most superfood there is. And uh, we got a few other things in there, you know, some uh, garlic and onion, you know, because that tastes delicious. And, well, I gotta tell you, it doesn't taste fishy at all. It just tastes like deliciousness. And uh, I actually had this with a little bit of uh, banana ketchup. Get you some banana ketchup. That stuff is amazing. And, uh, well, thank you very much for coming. I'm Chef Cameron Kurtz. Bye.